starting today's vlog with the happiness we all need, look at these prints. They're from a really gorgeous little Etsy shop called Happy Place Prints. I'll leave them linked below. They also have Universal and various other ones, but these are just gorgeous. I actually had these saved in my Etsy basket and was planning on buying them when I moved house and they contacted me on Instagram the next day. Call it fate, call it manifestation, whatever you want to call it, but I think that's pretty coincidental that they'd watched my Disney vlogs on the same day I'd been looking at their prints and ended up with these and I'm so obsessed with them. I couldn't resist starting the day with that little bit of happiness because I just love them so much. They're such beautiful prints and I'm so grateful that I was gifted them because they honestly were ones that were waiting in my basket ready to be bought. And they do have, like I said, various other prints from Universal and there's like other ones, I can't remember what they are, but there's completely different like other ones. They do custom watercolors of your house, all kinds of stuff like that. And it's just a little small business, so definitely worth supporting if you want something really gorgeous. Obviously, you don't have to like Disney to necessarily get Disney print from them, but really gorgeous company, so I'll leave them linked down below. And I am about to sit down and order some A4 frames so I can get these up on the wall in the bedroom, because I think what I'm going to do with them is put them in like four frames along above the top of the bed, I think. I haven't quite decided, but I think that's what I'm planning because my bedroom is very beige and there's no colour in there at all so this kind of little hint of blue I think will actually be quite nice because like I said there's just nothing else in there so I'm gonna do that I'm very excited because I'm just obsessed but anyway this morning has been very very productive for me I have been running around left right and centre I've been to the post office I've been to Tesco's I've been downstairs to pick up parcels I have sorted all my stuff out from the weekends like unpacked everything from my shoot last week repacked again for a shoot tomorrow I have put three loads of washing on I put the dishwasher on it's been a very productive morning and obviously I've also washed my hair as well which is the most frizzy it's been in a really long time and for some reason feeling a lot more damaged than it used to and I don't know if that's because I haven't had it cut since November I think maybe before then no before then it would have been October so I went in just before the November lockdown and got it cut and coloured and then or maybe was it September it might have been September and then in November I got it done but I literally just got the fringe cut and I got the toner put in and treatments i didn't get it dyed or anything and i've actually decided i'm not dyeing it blonde anymore so my plan of action is to basically let it grow out so it's very very blonde all kind of at the ends at the moment and i love it so much but i've realized that as i'm getting a bit older i just kind of fancy having darker hair and i think especially when I mean, to be fair, my plan that I said to my hairdresser was, as soon as I'm ready to have kids, which by the way, I'm not just before anyone thinks I am, <laughs> that's why I'm doing it. But I did say to my hairdresser that the absolute max time I would stay blonde is until I'm ready to have kids because I just don't want the upkeep of blonde when I've got kids running around and I'm a mum and all that kind of stuff. I just don't want it. And that is absolutely not why I'm stopping it now. That was just my kind of long-term plan of what I wanted to do. And the more I've seen the dark coming through over the last couple of months, I've just really liked it. And as much as I loved being blonde for the last few years, I just think I want my natural hair colour back now. And I quite like having dark hair. Like this is my natural hair colour. It's very, very dark. If I go into the light, I suppose it will look a bit better. Let me have a look if we can... Can we see? So like this is my natural colour here. And then obviously it fades into the blonde. And I do love it but it's just a bit fried at the moment from the blonde on the ends, which I do completely put down to the fact it hasn't been cut in ages and lockdown and styling it all the time and all that kind of stuff. We'll see. I'm gonna try and cut it down to just using heat like one or two days a week. But like I said, it's really bloody annoying when my natural hair does not play ball and doesn't look good because then I don't wanna leave it natural because I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm gonna plait it now and just see what it looks like. And it means it's also out of my way because these bits when it's natural just get really annoying. So I'm gonna give it a quick plait. As you can see, my hair is now thrown on top of my head and that's where it's been since I attempted to do one plait, which I've realized no matter how many times I try and do, I can't do it. Just like curling with straighteners, I'm also completely useless at that. I can curl with a curler and I can straighten with straighteners, but I can't mix the two. Is anyone else like that? Does anyone else not? Is anyone else not able to use straighteners to curl their hair? Because I find it impossible and I think you either can or you can't. There's no in between. No matter how many tutorials I watch, I still just cannot do it. <laughs> so 
that's just one of those things. Plaiting is like straighteners. Ooh. Plaiting my hair is like straightening with cur curling with straighteners. Curling, yes, curling with straighteners. But that being said, I'm good at doing two plaits. Like I can do one and two, I just can't do one. I think it's because like when you do two, you can kind of see what you're doing in lean. Whereas one, like you're going backwards and it's quite a challenge. But anyway, enough hair talk. It is a bit of a bush and I'm just kind of leaving it alone and not touching it for the rest of the day. And then I'm gonna be curling it tomorrow for my shoot. But it just feels horrible still. Like the ends just feel really awful. And I just keep reminding myself, it's only a month until I'm back in the salon and I'll be able to sort it out. Trying desperately hard not to convince myself that I can trim the ends myself because that's definitely something I do sometimes, especially with my fringe. I do cut my fringe myself. Enough waffle about my hair. This afternoon has consisted solidly of editing videos. So I've edited three YouTube videos which are going live over the next couple of weeks, which means I am now backed up by two weeks, which is great. I thought I was backed up a lot more than I am because I edited so many videos the other day, but then I put up four or five videos last week because I've got so much filmed and I don't wanna waste it, but some of it is like needing to go up right now or it'll be irrelevant. So I'm trying to kind of get through things as quick as I can. I honestly think I could upload a YouTube video every single day and still have too many videos backed up because I just love filming them and I love creating content. I literally have reels coming out of my eyeballs at this point because there's just so many backed up but i love filming them and doing them so it's fine i'm actually halfway through editing one at the moment it's like a four outfit one for just like weekly outfits spring outfits and then i'm just finishing off the april 12th outfit video which is going to be up for you guys not this week coming but the one after so not this tuesday the one after and i'm excited for it I actually really like doing occasion ones as well because I find them really fun. So if there's ever something that you're like, oh, I really need to find outfits for this specific occasion, still recommend it to me because I can whack it into the Ways to Style Tuesdays. Um, especially if it's something like a summer barbecue or a date in spring or whatever the case may be. It's often quite fun to just do that instead of like a specific Ways to Style. But yeah. I'm going to continue editing. Sorry today has been a bit boring. I promise there is going to be more entertainment through the rest of the week. But today has been a bit of a slow one. Because I'm just editing and just monging on the sofa. So not much excitement happening over here. But hope you've enjoyed it so far. Good morning from my house again. It's Thursday. And we're getting lots done. Da, da, na, 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 Oh yeah, Thursday. <laughs> It's been a productive day. I got back at about nine o'clock this morning and I've had a very productive day. So I have managed to get myself a couple of reels filmed. I've done a YouTube video and just various little worky bits that needed doing. And I'm actually about to sort out the last of the Depop stuff because let me tell you, there has been so many times this, I think I've been to the post office this week about four times. And let me tell you, I've been to the post office this week four times. It is Thursday and I've already been four times. That is how much stuff has sold recently. And I'm trying to kind of take like 20-ish things a day because I physically can't carry any more than that. So I take as much as I can, I send it, and then the next day I'll go back again. Or sometimes I'll do two trips in a day. Have to admit, I think the post office currently hate me, but it's what you've got to do sometimes. So I'm working through it. Thank you if you did buy anything for being patient with me on this because I know it is quite frustrating when you have to wait for something you've bought but there's just so much and there's one of me and I'm fitting it around doing work as well. So thank you for the patience and for buying things and being lovely. I'm about to sit on the floor and chuck a YouTube video on and package up some more bits to take. I do still have quite a big pile but some of this... This is literally all the Depop stuff, but some of it is actually stuff where two or three things have been bought. So it shouldn't be too bad to send everything. I mean, there's also like empty boxes and stuff which need to go to the bin downstairs, which luckily my building actually has recycling, which I'm really glad for because some buildings like one that I first lived in in London didn't have a recycle bin and it used to drive me insane. But here there's like recycle and not recycle stuff. So that's really good. But um, yeah. I'm going to chuck you on a time lapse and get packing.
still got all these to post. So it's definitely not done by a long way. The docks obviously are not going. I just put them there. Um, oh no, they're not my docks. They are actually being sold. <laughs> there are the boots. I thought that was my docks. But yeah, all of this is still to go. So I need to package this up in a minute. I've got you in the usual spot in the car. So you probably can't see me all that well, but we're gonna go with it because it's the only place I can actually put you right now. But my headache is progressively getting worse. I don't know what's going on, but it's literally like, did I even just mention it? I don't know. I mentioned it on my Instagram stories, but I think maybe I haven't drunk enough water. I don't know. Um, but I've got a bit of a headache and it's my second migraine in like a week, which is super annoying. But, but I'm kind of half putting it down to maybe having caffeine. So I had Diet Coke a couple of days this week, which obviously has caffeine in. It's the first caffeine I've had in, oh my God, like eight months or something ridiculous. So maybe it's that, like maybe it's like I've had caffeine and my head's like not able to take caffeine anymore. I don't know, but it's really sore and it's really annoying me. So that's really fun. I think I'm gonna get home and just like down loads of water. I did have a little like cake bar thing before I left the house because I thought get the sugar in and see if that helps. So fingers crossed it does because I don't want a headache right now. I've got loads of things I need to be doing. But if I do, then I'm just gonna have a bath and just chill and get off all social media and stuff for the evening and just relax. But if not, I'm still gonna be having a bath later. Let's be honest, this is me. Do you ever have those days where you've got like a whole plan and then you get halfway through the day and then you just can't be bothered? Like, does anyone else get that? Like, they have a whole plan and then you're like, eh, I'm just gonna have a bath. Or like, do something really random instead of whatever it was you were planning. That's definitely me. Like today was gonna, well, actually, tomorrow I was meant to be shooting and I don't think I am now. So I basically have gained a day of doing the bits that I need to do. So I'm gonna do everything like real wise that I was gonna do today, tomorrow. And then today is gonna be like a kind of all over the show kind of day, just doing whatever, whatever I feel like, to be completely honest. <sighs> God, my head is pounding. It feels like it's in my eyes. It's like here. My drilling's really not helping. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll speak to you when I'm home. I've just got in from the, oh my God, my speech. Do you know how hard it is to vlog weekly vlogs at the moment when there's next to nothing happening? My speech even goes sometimes. Like if I kept in 90% of the clips that I cut a lot, you'd honestly be like, why am I watching this woman talk absolute waffle? It's just, <laughs> it's an experience. But anyway, as I was saying, I've just got in from going to the post office and I still have a really bad headache, but it's now to the point where I feel like I'm gonna fall over and pass out. It's really, really bad. Like I just keep feeling really faint. So I've made myself some couscous, like literally just the cheap 35p Aldi packs that are like sun-dried tomato. I have put some water in one of those I'm gonna have in a minute just to give myself some food. And I just feel like I'm gonna pass out. Like I honestly feel like I'm gonna fall over. Like I've had sugar. I've, ugh, caffeine does normally help, but I don't really want caffeine. I'm gonna try and find my anodin tablets and take some of those, but I just feel very bizarre. Like I feel nauseous and I feel like I'm gonna pass out, which has never happened, but I'm home alone. So I don't wanna pass out because no one would be here to pick me back up again and what would happen then? I mean, this is massively hypochondriac central right now, but I'm just really worried I'm gonna fall over and not be able to get back up or something or like be out for a few hours and no one's gonna know. And also my phone's about to die, so that would just be, do you know what? Let's stop catastrophizing the entire situation because it's probably not gonna happen, but my mind is just like, what happens if it does? Oh God. Does anyone else do that? If you get a headache or something and you're, well, it's, it's always when you're in the house on your own. Like if James was here, I would not be panicking or like if I'd got a friend over or something, but because I'm on my own, I'm like, oh God, what happens if this happens? Like, it's just me, what do I do? Huh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, anyway, anyway, I'm gonna eat my couscous and chill on the sofa for a bit because I need to submit the little bits and pieces that I shot my reels earlier and I need to do some stories and stuff and chase some payments because people are late paying me. And then probably catch up with you in a bit and hopefully my headache is gone by then because honestly, I'm in agony. My eyes are so sore. I'm tempted to like draw all the curtains and just sit in the dark for a bit because it's just really hurting. Do I even have anodin? Do I even have tablets? I don't think I do. I've got ibuprofen and paracetamol, but have I got anodin? That's the question. No. 
Amidon's like the best thing to have when you've got a migraine, if you haven't had it before. Have I even got ibuprofen and paracetamol left? Guess what time it is. It is bath time, bath time, bath time, bath time. Why are we getting so many songs today? I don't know. I'm having a bath. My head is still absolutely killing me. Food didn't help, water hasn't helped, tablets haven't helped, nothing is helping. So I'm basically gonna sit in the bath and put like, uh, I need to find it, but I've got one of the like cold compress eye mask things. So I'm gonna put one of those over my eyes and hopefully start feeling a little bit better because this is not okay. It's really sore and I literally feel like I'm gonna throw up, it's horrible. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea to take into the bath too because why not? tea is everything and I'm gonna read my book because I don't, well I'm gonna try and read my book I think it might be quite a challenge because sometimes like if you're in the bath I find it really difficult sometimes if I've got a headache to read because it's like paying attention to words on a page but hopefully I'll be able to read at least and then that should be okay so I'm gonna take my comparison cure one in the bath with me and a pen because it's one of those ones where you can like write notes and stuff and they give you little like questions and that throughout so I'm gonna bring my little pen in and I'm also gonna try and write my gratitudes quickly because I haven't done those yet today. So basically just have a nice relaxing, gratitude -y filled bath time. Nearly at the end of my gratitude journal, I've got like a month worth left, which is amazing. It's been the first time I've ever filled a notebook entirely, especially when it's gratitudes, love that. But oh, I'm gonna have my bath and then I'll get back to you. Probably gonna use a Lush bath bomb this time around because I haven't used one in a while and I just feel like I need one. Good morning, happy Friday. Yesterday took a very unexpected turn and I ended up being in bed by about nine o'clock because of a migraine, which is never fun. But I tried to eat some dinner because all I'd had all day was like a couple of fiber one bars, which is probably the reason I ended up with a migraine. And I had dinner and just felt like I was gonna throw up. So I went and lied in bed in a dark room and just fell asleep with my makeup on. Luckily I was already in comfies, so it wasn't too bad. Like I was already in my PJs after my bath, but I just fell asleep and didn't wake up again till late this morning. So I feel a lot better now. So I'm about to sit and have a little bit of breakfast and then I'm gonna crack on with filming. So I've got a couple of reels and YouTube bits that I want to get done. I'm gonna try and really power through and see if I can get as much done as possible filming wise today. Then I've got a new mirror turning up next week. So I'm gonna do like a whole day of just taking mirror selfies and like cool at home pictures when that comes because that's kind of like an essential part of me sorting things out i also that reminds me need to order a step ladder from ikea because i am painting the oh oh my goodness i haven't mentioned so i spoke about two weeks ago about painting a wall in my flat and i was talking about painting one of these two walls the plan has now completely changed i'm actually not painting in here because let me show you what i mean and i'll explain it because i feel like when i show you you'll understand where i'm coming from and you'll be like that's actually a way better idea so these two walls are my walls of my living room so this is completely a window i have like a tiny bit of wall there i have one and what a half walls and then i've got the doorway this is why i say my house is a very weird shape so this is essentially my little living room and the original plan was to paint this wall which meant painting up there as well and I was in two minds about going all the way over and doing this, but then I didn't really want to do this because this is my only bit that I film on. Every single reel and stuff is filmed here. So I thought it would stop there and then that would just kind of break up like kitchen, living room. But we thought it might look a bit odd. By we, I mean me and my management because obviously this is a collaboration. So I've been talking to them a lot about this and we thought it just might look a bit strange. So then we were thinking maybe this wall is better to do because that wall is like a focal point. It's where my TV and stuff is. I could get a few prints, make it look really cute. But then the only problem with doing that wall is that you've got this radiator here that literally goes from there all the way into the corner, which I've hidden with the mirror. It doesn't look that obvious when you look at it like this. Obviously there is a lot of stuff. We're gonna ignore the amount of crap that's piled up. But when the wall is painted, it'll be really obvious. So initially I was like, okay, let's get one of the big Billy bookcases. We'll make it look really cute. That would have been a really fab idea. The only problem is they either go to like 80 centimeters, which is about here, or 160, which is too long, or 120. So this for reference is 140. So whatever I did, there'd be like quite a big gap. Then I thought maybe a radiator cover, but the only problem with getting a radiator cover is that it would have to be a certain pattern on, like pattern on the front. So either like a grid kind of vibe or rattan kind of vibe, which would have clashed with this. So that ended up being a big no-go because it was just a bit of a nightmare to try and sort. 
And then I just thought, why not do the office? Because the office is a room that I actually really love and has never been fully finished. Most of this house, to be honest, has never been finished. There's so many things that I want to add. But knowing that I'm moving in a few months, I don't want to spend the money on sorting this place that I could be spending on a mortgage in the next place, basically. So I thought I would paint the back wall of the office. I'll put a picture on the screen here of what I mean, because it's never been finished. And if you follow my home account, Home of Copper, you will know that I talk quite a lot about what to do with the prints on the walls. So I've got a big idea for that. And I've got a lot of kind of things that I'm thinking. And I'm basically just waiting for the paint to turn up now. I'm not going to tell you which paint I chose. I obviously it was between the sage and the pink but i'm not going to tell you which one i went for and as soon as that turns up we're going to be painting in there which is supposed to be happening sunday but the paint hasn't turned up yet if anything it's actually worked in my favor it also gives me the time to get the prints and the decorations which is great because it means that i can fully finish it off and i don't have to worry about all the little bits and pieces like it will just be all done in one go I'm also DIYing a couple of bits in there which is really exciting so i've kind of started making a clay pot which is going to be part of that well it's all gonna be in one big video. So the office makeover will be in that, but I'm trying to make it less of an office and more of a dressing room spare room. So <laughs> the only reason I call it an office is because I have my MacBook in there, my iMac, sorry. And I'm actually gonna be, I think, taking the iMac out and making it into like a little desk, like vanity kind of area. So putting my perfumes and like my jewelry stand and stuff on it, because I just don't use the MacBook ever, like the Mac. I always use my MacBook on the sofa. So it just doesn't make sense to do that. But part of me does really want to start using my iMac again in there. So I don't know. I'm going to see later on today and next week if I can get use out of it. It is really hard when it's in my kind of like dumping room for want of a better word. Like my office is always like this. And when it's really messy, I don't really want to work in it. But I guess as soon as like I put the washing away, which is over there, and package up the last few Depop bits that need to be sent off, then I guess it'll be fine. It's just there is a few little bits and pieces that need doing for it to be finished. But either way, that was quite a long waffle about the office reno stuff. Reno, I call it a reno. It's not a reno. It's literally just painting a wall and adding some details. But hopefully it'll look really nice and it'll be a really lovely spare room for when people can finally stay again because I'm hoping that before like when all this stuff is over and when we're allowed out on the 21st of June I'm hoping that I can have friends come and stay for a couple of like at least a few times before I move because it'd be really nice to just actually get use out of it as a spare room again because people have stayed in there quite a lot when we were allowed and when I like first moved in and stuff but it'd be nice to have people stay more so that I feel like I've really used it I'm gonna have my breakfast and then crack on with filming. Have to admit, I have got some banging bits from Zara that I can't wait to show you. Like, I bought all of this. Didn't plan on keeping it all, but now I'm seeing it, I'm like, ooh, ooh. Especially these. I didn't honestly think these would fit my feet and stay on, but they're really beautiful and I'm definitely keeping them. They were like 60 pounds, but they're really cute and they're kind of classic and multi-seasonal, so love that. They'll be good for holidays, spring, summer, autumn, they'll be good year round every year thank you for justifying my purchases for me when i can't hear you <laughs> much appreciated i'm having the single most productive day ever and i love it i'm just being so productive so i've managed to get four reels done this morning had a two hour facetime with a friend um i've packaged up stuff and just took it to the post office and now i'm about to sit and basically add all of the tracking information from all of the receipts just so everyone knows their parcels have been sent and then obviously they've got the tracking so they don't need to ask me for like proof of postage or anything it's just it saves a lot of hassle when like if something hasn't turned up for a while they can just check it themselves i do have stuff everywhere still like all over the back of the sofa and everything because i'm still planning on filming some bits but i wanted to get this done first and sort out that look at the size of this receipt it's actually the height of me it's so long <sighs> time to get picking of things i've decided tonight is the night that my flat gets a clean because i don't actually know the last time i cleaned i think it might have been like monday or something but I've decided I'm giving it a full like top to bottom deep clean, taking the bins out, cleaning all the surfaces, making sure the plants are watered, getting rid of the dead flowers, all that kind of stuff that just desperately needs doing and partially inspired by the fact that I have stuff from various reels lying around my house which need to go away and partially because 
it just needs cleaning and I've just watched a few cleaning videos and it's made me really want to clean my house. <laughs> I need to quickly pop links up on my like to know and my stories from my latest pictures, which I don't think anyone realizes how long it actually takes to do it. Like, it's not just a quick two second task. It actually takes quite a while to go through and link various bits and pieces, especially when it's like something new in and you've got to find the link and find similar items and like tag them all and then do all the stories. Like it takes, it takes me a while. Let's just say that it takes a while. Um, so I'm doing that now drinking some water and yeah then I'm gonna clean the flat and give you a little time lapse because I think the last thing you guys saw was just before my camera died which was me packaging packaging doing the tracking things for Depop which I've still got a few to do I've got I think maybe six or seven left that I need to add the tracking for which is fine it won't take me that long but um I thought cleaning came first and then I can sit down and do that and then once I've done that I'm either going to sit and play The Sims for a bit or I'm going to do my cross stitch because it's half five and I just really fancy having like a chilled evening of doing like an activity or reading a book because I read some of my book last night in the bath and I feel like I want to pick up my ghosts book again because I haven't read it in a little while. Just fancy giving it a read to be honest and I've got quite a stack on my bookshelf that I need to get through but I really struggle with switching off from work sometimes and not doing work when I should be doing other things like I always try for as long as I can remember to have like what my therapist would call pleasure time and work time so pleasure time is not as it sounds it's definitely not naughty it's kind of like your time where you sit and do what makes you happy so whether that's having a bath reading a book um painting your nails giving yourself a tan like going for a walk calling a friend whatever it might be that you enjoy doing and that gives you a happiness that is basically what i have to do in my pleasure time so i used to be really really good at it and then i kind of for some unbeknown reason ended up getting really rubbish at it so i'm trying to get back into it now and just start really thinking about having time in my day that i just really invest in myself and my well-being um okay let me finish doing these links and i'll catch up with you for a time lapse of my cleaning If I wake up happy, and what if I wake up sad? Sorry if I said something, something that made you mad. Wishing that I could call you. Sorry, my service bad, my bad. When I wake up, you're not next to me. Guess I'm missing all your energy. That's all I want. That's all I want. Promise I am not your enemy. I just need another memory That's all I want Cause all I want is you Don't forget to clean your laptops, kids. I always use a glass cleaner on the screen of mine. I just spray it here and then give it a little once over. This is really hard one handed, but basically give it a once over on the screen. I got so caught up filming the cleaning vlogs yesterday that I didn't realise the camera had stopped recording. <laughs> so I was literally going around the house carrying the tripod thinking it was still on a long clip and it wasn't, it stopped, it died. So that's really fun. But 
today is Saturday. Wow, it's a look and a half. But today is Saturday and I've just been for a lovely little walk around Little Venice, which is near Regent's Park in London, which isn't too far from my house. So I've been there for a little walk with my boyfriend, had a little coffee and a little like snack. Found Dunkin' Donuts just outside Baker Street and I never knew it was there before. So we picked up some of the little munchkins. Oh, insane, they're like little mini donut balls. And then went for a walk around Little Venice, came home, a parcel's just turned up from New Look, which is what I want to show you now. And then I also got a delivery from Ikea, which you can probably see in the doorway there, of a few frames and a giant mirror. So the mirror is going to be going in here, which is going to be kind of shared fully in the vlog next week and also the vlog of like doing up this room. And the frames are for the Disney prints to go above my bed, which I shared earlier this week. So I'm going to put those up in a minute and we're going to slow cook a chilli. So I thought I would just kind of give you a bit of a Saturday vlog because yesterday's was very empty and this week has just as a whole been really, it's been like a hit and miss kind of vlog, which I feel really bad about because I want these vlogs to be amazing for you and I want them to be like really fun and exciting, but it's so hard <laughs> to think of things to say and find things to make them interesting when I'm just at home all the time. So this is definitely a week of, I guess the theme of this week has been <laughs> inconsistency, I don't know. But I tried to make it a theme of gratitude and then I haven't really spoken about gratitude. So we're going to roll that one over to next week and next week's is going to be gratitude. So that's going to be the gist of it. If there's anything you want me to talk about manifesty wise in that vlog, let me know because I'd be more than happy to kind of chat through my thoughts on like manifesting and the law of attraction and gratitude and all that kind of stuff because I'm very big into it. And this week I think is just going to be, I don't even know. I don't even know what I filmed this week if I'm completely honest. So it will be what it will be. This week is literally just locked down, isn't it? No one knows what to say. No one knows what to talk about. Our speech is becoming like a slur because we're not used to speaking most days. None of us are really doing anything exciting. I'm going to open the new look package now and stop talking. That would be more fun, wouldn't it? So I don't actually remember what I picked, but this is gifting from New Look. Okay, first up we have a little shirt. This is a 10 and it is this kind of cute little tan number, which I thought was really nice because shirts like this are great for every day wearing as a shirt, but you can also wear them undone. You can wear them like over the top of like, I actually think they look really cute when you wear them over the top of like a sports bra and leggings or like a nice vest top and leggings or manifesting the summer holidays that we might be able to get this would be really cute over a little white bikini and then you can obviously just chuck some denim shorts on or something if you're out and about on the beach but it was 20 pounds and i think it's really really cute so definitely one i'm going to be getting a lot of wear out of there's a lot of brown and black here so i don't know what i've picked oh yeah this is a little um a little top which i got in an eight and this is one of those ones that's kind of like can you see the texture of this? It's kind of like the exposed like inward seams. I don't really know what it's called. This one was 13.99 and I got an eight. So true to size. And then I sized up in the shirt just because I wanted it to be a slightly looser fit. This is a little trench coat and it's a slightly puff sleeved one, which I didn't realize, but I kind of like that. So I do have the misguided trench, which I wear all the time, which is kind of more of like a Mac style. So it's very like straight. There's no real like trench features to it as such whereas this one's got kind of like the the double buttons on the front and like the belt and stuff so it's a bit more of an actual trench coat and I don't know if you can see on the camera but it's quite a good length so really glad I've got that one I got this in an eight and this one was oh it doesn't say the price I'll leave it linked but it doesn't say the price so I can't remember exactly how much it was then we have two pairs of spring summer appropriate shoes so first up is these, which are some Chunky Dad style sandals, which are quilted. I really liked these on the website because I do have my Griffin quad dock ones, which look like this. But these ones, as much as I, I've kind of left them undone and they look, don't look their best right now. I don't really know the word for it, but they're kind of a more like dad style sandal, whereas these are like a full on chunky sandal. These are more like the trend style of the dad sandal. Does that make sense? Like these are just more slightly trend focused and these were out last season. They were huge last season, all into like autumn time. And I thought given that they've come back this year, they're probably gonna be a trend that recurs over the, recurs? Reoccurs? What's the word? Don't know. But I think it's gonna be a recurring trend basically. So I thought I would get my hands on a pair. And these ones were 
It doesn't say again, no. It doesn't say, but I got a five, which is true to size for me, and I believe they had a couple of different colours. But they're just really cute and chunky, and they look really lovely with dresses and stuff. And then lastly is these ones, which were 25 99 so these actually say the price on the bottom. And they look a bit like this. Let me just take all the packaging bits off. So they're like flip-flops, but with the really big bit here so these are kind of like a more luxe version of a flip-flop and these are ones that i think are a bit more appropriate for like smart casual outfits and stuff rather than wearing like a full-on haviana style like classic flip-flop so i got these because they're just really nice and to be honest they're something i would keep in my wardrobe for a long time they'd look great kind of beach to evening if you're on holiday which i know i keep mentioning holidays but when i get things like this i do think about that kind of stuff as well but also equally i think these would be great if you're kind of in spring summer wearing with some like denim and maybe a big shirt so for example i would probably wear these teamed with my straight leg levi wedgies and the shirt that i just showed you so kind of giving it that really slouchy summer vibe and then you could even to be fair put this open with a little black crop and then wear like really nice black sunglasses and a nice like smarter bag and they'd be good for like an evening with drinks or something like that definitely something i would wear if i was going to like a barbecue or something as well with a little summer dress or like a midi dress or something but they're really nice and i think they're a like slightly more luxe version of a flip-flop like i said and 25.99 so pretty reasonable price new look at the moment i have to say have the best spring summer collection it's so lovely there's really gorgeous dresses on there and just like loads and loads of bits that are really nice the only reason i didn't personally get any dresses or anything in this one is because a lot of the styles that i really liked they didn't have in my size at the time because i think where they're so popular they're just flying off the shelf so i'll leave all the links down below to this and obviously you can check out the website yourself if you wanted to see what else is out there but yeah I guess it's time for me to start the chilli and then hang the pictures on the wall, which is going to be exciting. Very excited for that. Do still have black marks on the wall that I'm going to attempt to... <sighs> I don't know how to get them off because I don't have a magic eraser. And I'm thinking, do I try and get them off now or do I just wait? I don't really know what to do. I might just put the pictures up in the magic eraser like the bits that you can see. Don't know. Okay, this is my slow cooker which was a present for my parents for my birthday. So they got me this and the Le Creuset pot. This was, I believe, like £30 on Amazon. So I'll try and link this or as similar as I can. But this is a swan one and we obviously got copper because I was copper. And it's honestly so fab. It's really, really good. And I use it quite a lot for like varying different recipes. So I've used this for various chilies, for casseroles, for curries, for soups, like so many different things. But I'm going to use it for a chilli today. So pop it on the side <laughs> one of my favorite things about this kitchen is genuinely this little lazy susan it's such a good use of space in the corner you can't even really see it but it's got all my like toaster and appliancey bits in so that they're not on the side all the time because there's nothing more annoying than having loads of appliances out i think that's one thing i might kind of make sure i have in my next house if I go for the Renault route, I'm going to make sure I have like the floor to ceiling cupboards where you can kind of hide appliances. Um, so you kind of get like, it's like this, but then this goes like all the way down to the floor and there's not a counter space. And then you can kind of hide things inside the cupboard and make it so that when it's open, it looks really nice and like usable, but then you can close it away and hide it all. Just because I don't really like having it out. I think it looks really ugly when you have loads of stuff out in your kitchen and loads of like appliances everywhere which is why the only thing I have is my mic microwave and my kettle because my microwave doesn't fit in a cupboard and my kettle I use every five minutes. Like right now, because I'm going to make myself a coffee while I cook this chilli. slow cooking away so what i've got in here is basically just corn mince tomatoes kidney beans but it's actually a mixed bean one because i didn't have just kidney beans and mushrooms and then i've whacked in a little bit of tomato puree and the little chili packet mixes you get in the supermarket for like 40p 
and that's always what I kind of do and then it just works really well and I also chuck in a beef stock because I use corn mints just for preference I don't really like the texture of mints like normally so I chuck in a beef stock so it's got a little bit more of a beefy flavour and leave it for a couple of hours so I've got it on high and it'll probably be in there for a little while until maybe like it's half three now so maybe like six ish so two and a half hours and then it should just soak up all the goodness and taste amazing and meanwhile i'm going to have some of my egg yummy this is the one i got and basically all of these have gone so we're just left with the actual shell but yum this could be an absolute fail but we're going to attempt to do the pictures quickly because obviously having help is a lot easier when you put pictures on the wall because you can see what you're doing so i've got my little frames <laughs> in a bag here and we're going to pop the prints in and hopefully I've got command strips. I'm not 100% sure if I do, but I'm really hoping that I do because that would be quite a disaster. Oh, I've got a couple. Do we think I've got enough? Dunno. I'm pretty sure I've got quite a lot like scattered in my crap drawer. There's such random stuff in here. have command strips we're good strips are on so we're going to stick them on the wall the only thing is they've got two command strips each because that's all i had left so if they fall off on our heads in the night then i'm going to be starting next week's vlog with a giant bruise on my head <laughs> or you will so we're going to try and pop them on the wall now and i've put them in like what i think looks like a good order based on the images because two of them are really like turquoisey and two are quite blue and obviously the kingdoms I've separated and stuff. So this is what we're going to go with. So we've done Hollywood Studios, then Animal Kingdom, then Epcot, then Magic Kingdom. Because these two have quite tall um, thingies in them. So we thought, <laughs> thingies, the kingdom and the Tower of Terror. But even so, like, they look quite busy. So we've separated those and then popped these in the middle. And the Epcot and the Hollywood Studios have similar colouring and so do these two. So I think that's going to work. And then I think we're going to put them quite close together. So it's going to be like two and two so it slightly overlaps the bed maybe or maybe in line with the bed because to be honest they fit on the bed quite well so i don't really know but maybe they'll just go like that but directly on the wall what do you think yeah yeah let's give it a go now on the wall the epcot one was wonky so we pulled it off and tried to move it and ended up having all of the command strips stuck and if you've ever tried to use ikea frames with command strips you'll know that they don't stick very well especially the like classic ones like this so we've gorilla glued the command strips to the frame left it for about what would you say like 15 20 minutes and the gorilla glue the glue blah, blah, blah. the gorilla glue has still not stuck so it fell straight back off the wall. So I've popped it back on the bed with the Gorilla Glue to see if it will hold over the next hour or two and then we can try again tonight. But for now, I do still quite like it. I think it looks really cute. I just think the bedside tables need some height because they're quite low. And obviously now the bed is high and so is that. So I think it needs like some bigger lamps, which to be honest, I've been wanting bigger lamps anyway because I think the ones in here are just a bit small i kind of just bought the cheapest one that i could find and didn't really think about what i'd want long term so i am on the hunt for some new lamps and i know there's some really good ones around so i think they're going to get changed asap and i'll try and find something like bigger and taller and just see what fits best in the space because they're something i'll obviously keep for a really long time um but this is as done as it's going to be for tonight but i really like it so far i think we've done well I will leave a link to the prints again so that you guys can see them because they are really cool prints. And the place that sent them to me does really cool like watercolours. So you can get watercolours of specific cities or places or there's universal ones. There's like various different ones of different countries. And there's also, they do watercolours of your house. So you can send a picture of your house and they'll do a watercolour and stuff of that I spotted. So that's really cool. And that's definitely something I'd get in my next, like when I buy a house, I'd get that. 
So yeah, that's the project 90% done. And I think now I'm gonna go and sit on the sofa and just chill for a little bit and try and edit the vlog because I wanna get it done before tomorrow because I'm going for a walk with a friend and I just wanna get it done and edited and then I don't have to worry about it because I know this is gonna be quite a long one. <laughs> Good evening guys. It's Sunday as I'm filming this and I just wanted to end the vlog because I know that it's been quite a patchy one and quite an abrupt ending but I promise, I promise, hand on heart, that next week's one will be a lot more interesting. It's just been a weird time at the moment and I think where I've not really been doing anything and I've been so focused on like work and stuff it's been really hard to remember to pick up the camera but I am back to setting alarms so I remember and there's actually some like interesting things happening this week coming up it's going to be really sunny and I'm going to make the theme of this coming week gratitude so I'm going to talk a lot about manifestation and all that stuff which I think I mentioned yesterday but I hope you enjoyed today's vlog thank you for sticking around and bearing with the last couple because I know they've not been the most entertaining ever but to be completely honest I've just not done anything like I've literally just sat on the sofa most evenings and I don't even have anything to talk about to myself or my boyfriend, let alone like a broadcast. There's just nothing happening. So yeah, basically I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to leave me a comment and tell me what you've been up to this week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>